Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's about oh, 10 or 11 o'clock. Finn had a hockey game down in Pittsburgh this morning, which is about an hour and a half drive from here. At 7 a.m., so we got up at 4, drove all the way down there, played three games, and Finn did awesome, and drove the whole way home and grabbed some brunch and told the wife I wanted to go for a hike and look for some sheds. Brought crazy Harper along. So hopefully she picks them up because we have a little bit of snow and they're gonna be really hard to see. I know the, the bucks that I was watching at my place, I'm pretty sure all dropped. I have that one camera up on this bedding area that I haven't checked since the last vlog, which was probably three or four weeks ago. So I'm gonna check that, hike some other property here, and stump shoot. So one crazy thing I wanna mention is uh, Last summer, I said I'd probably never, ever put a clicker on my bow. Well, I'm sick of plucking. I'm sick of not engaging my back like I should. So, clickety clicker. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not sure it's gonna stay, but I'm liking it so far. I just got it set up. I was shooting in the house at like five yards. So I'm gonna stump a little bit today. And we have leagues tonight, so it should be exciting to see how I do, but, man, there is a heavy trail right here, and I don't know what dog is running this, if it's coyote, or what, but there is a heavy trail, maybe it's coons, I'm not sure, so, heavy trail here of something, I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Hey, what's happening, guys? So... Today, I'm gonna take this old super mag that I picked up cheap. This guy right here, the 48 inch. Just a fun little bow. It's 55 pounds at 28 inches, so it's hefty, but I'm gonna strip it down here and take the rest off and uh, take some spray paint to it. See they're running this hard though. I'm really not sure on that track. Kind of looks like a raccoon. Not my specialty, but something I'm gonna learn more about. So I'm definitely gonna pull that up and see what kind of track it is. But here goes nothing. So of course I came up into where I set that camera. <clears throat> And that one buck that I knew was bedding here, and I was also seeing in the food plot, dropped one side. He still has the other side. And that was on February 1st, the picture was taken. He was standing right where I'm at, and then he ended up bedding down right here. So I'll show you guys the picture on, on the vlog, but that was, what's today? That was on Thursday at about one o'clock, 12.30. And when, fin or when Harper and I, my dog, came in here, a few were bedded in here and they skirted up over and I thought I saw one with one side still on. So I don't know if it was him for sure, but hopefully Harper finds it because I sure as heck won't find it in the snow. But it's good to know he is using this bedding area. I got a picture of him up on top and I got lots of pictures down closer towards the house where the food plot's at. I bumped him here on the vlog the other day. It's nice to know he still came back. He's feeling, he feels really secure in this area. So more than likely come um, spring, he'll stay hopefully. And I can climb one of these trees and kill him. He'll probably be three and a half next year. He, this picture really shows his neck and he, he's either run down or he's really skinny or young. So. I bet he's three and a half next year, but we're going to do a lot of walking today, so hopefully I can give you guys some, some more uh, updates. I'm just still hiking, and Harper found something. Dead coyote. I don't know when it was killed, but I'm pumped. Pumped it's dead. It's been here for a while. It's a pretty big dog, too, so... 
stiff as a board, but cool nonetheless. Obviously, hard couldn't resist anymore. And there was probably, uh, I don't know, 50 or 60 birds in that flock. It's a pretty big flock, and a couple of really, really nice long beards. Which, my hill is all of that. So, all of that hillside is mine. I'm on the opposite hillside that my Buddy leases, and he lets me walk on here for shed hunting and scouting and stuff. But I don't hunt on this side, although I could, but I don't. Um, come turkey season, those birds will be all through this hollow. And my place is pretty cool during spring turkey. There are lots of birds, chase lots of birds. I haven't got into it too much the last couple of years for some reason. But Maybe this year will be different. <laughs> so, Harper and I are gonna hike back. It got cold pretty quick. I've been kind of taking my time and looking for sheds and stuff like that. But time to get home, play with the daughter, play with the wife, and uh, <laughs> get a leagues tonight with Finn. So. Probably not really play with the wife, but spend time with the wife. Once you have two kids and one on the way, that kind of goes out the window, but I didn't really mean to say that, so. <laughs> uh, shoot. Well, I might vlog tonight at leagues. If not, uh, I'm gonna keep after it and uh, start doing some management once it warms up on my property, plant some trees and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hoof it back. I put on maybe three miles today, so some good exercise, and Harper sure needed it, so it's fun. So if you haven't got out lately, get out there and just take a hike. It feels good. It feels really good. This is my daughter's Jeep. That is the Bowen spray paint, and outside, the homeowners that we bought the home from left me this nice little junk carpet out here, so I'm going to spray it right on this right outside gonna tag it in the uh, brownish color first as now I am a professional graffiti artist so spray paint and me go way back just kidding but it's pretty dark out here so it's kind of tough to tell but that's a first layer, that's the base layer. I'm gonna let this sit for a good 15, 20 minutes, let it dry, and then uh, add some green. Well, this is 
is how she's looking so far. It's taking a little longer to dry because it's cold, but so far I'm digging it. So y'all know I'm a very organized individual. This is my workbench. This is what it looks like right now. Well guys, we're gonna let her sit tonight and dry and see how she looks in the morning. Definitely has its flaws this morning, but it'll do. I put, I tagged a couple black swipes on it because I didn't get enough of it in the dark last night. All right, well, it's pretty tough to show you exactly how it turned out, but pretty cool. So I got a new string that's going to go on this guy. String here, but we're going to add some silencers and get my brace height set on this little short bow. So the Super Mag will hopefully be okay to shoot. So as far as making the uh, silencers, Silent Flight Archery is a company, they make these jigs that are really, really cool. Um, they provide yarn too, so you can get your yarn straight from them. Um, it's a little bit better than just going up to Walmart like this stuff and, and buying it. Their stuff's a little more durable, uh, better in weather too, but not really planning on um, using this bow too much, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. Three different sizes and it is a real simple process. So um, just take two rubber bands around each side, wrap the yarn around, pull the rubber bands over, and it's made. You slide it in between your string, life is good. So we're gonna time lapse that so you can see how it's done really quick. That's it. Um, it just slides between the string there, and then you cut the ends, and that's your puffball. Or that's your silencer. So, got to make another one and add them to the string. Side note, they do, uh, when you get the jig, it comes with a little tool that makes make it, taking the rubber band over so much easier, but like most things in life, I lost it. So I just need to measure these out and get the string on it and get brace height set. All right, so brace height on these guys is between eight and nine inches is where it should fall. Through the string on, that's one of the things that uh, it's kind of neat about both sets of strings that I've got, both for the RK1 uh, and now for this bow from uh, Kevin's dad, Tim, that's making them is both of them I've strung up and they've been pretty close to the brace height that I've needed so he's taken the time to make sure they're stretched out and um, at the correct length there they're working really well for us but I'm gonna leave it at nine and um, set up right now at nine I'm actually not gonna change that I'm just gonna shoot it there and try to get my knock point set so pretty pumped I mean it's not the prettiest looking paint job but Nothing I do looks pretty, so. Sweet. See the strap on on there? So we're ready to go. Gonna take a couple shots. Um, small game season's in, so if I get a chance to take a hike with this guy tomorrow, I might just take a hike with it. Pretty short. Getting good arrow flight. I'm happy with the setup on it. Um, these were the first four arrows that I shot, so knock point measurement was right. 
Um, decent group. I mean, it's 12 yards, so you should be grouping like that at 12 yards, I hope. But my most days, I don't shoot a group that well. Anyway, so um, this guy was the last shot. Definitely jerked my bow arm. I moved it down as I released the arrow. So that was user arrow, but a user arrow. User error. Uh, but I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's a it's a fun little bow to shoot. It's gonna be fun to kind of just mess around with in the woods. I think I'm gonna take it stump shooting and small game hunting tomorrow, uh, which is Wednesday, just to just to carry it through the woods. Um, I think I'm gonna try. I have some hockey tape, like hockey grip tape for the stick that I think I'm gonna throw around that handle just to add uh, a little something there. But pretty stoked on it. I love short bows. They're fun. Um, I have like this stalker recurve is 52 inches. Um, really like that bow, but uh, it's it's fun to shoot. It's 45 pounds though uh, at 28 inches, and I shot all last year. Uh, my RK ones at um, 45 pounds at 28 inches, so shot that all last year, and I I like the weight, but I I definitely want to move up in weight this year, so. I'm gonna be hunting the RER that uh, Chester's building me right now. Um, should fall between 50 and 55 pounds at 28 inches, and that's gonna be in my wheelhouse. That's like that long bow. It was 52 at 27 and a half. Really, really comfortable. Um, if I head out west for elk, um, that's what I'll be hunting with. So stay safe, shoot straight, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.